Evans, who just won the last wait, game. Wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, whoa. wait, wait. No operator ban from Shroud's team. Okay. They're they keeping it. it all on the table. They don't need it. I, I, thought we were, I said we weren't going to talk about it. Now we got to talk about it. That's no ban. That's incredible. That's the first no ban we've seen on stage, actually, funny enough. Yeah. So We didn't even do it in the show match. Next level, next level strategies. Next level strategies. Four million IQ. Anyways, how are we feeling about the second no operator ban? Because that happened. They don't need them. Yeah, Get them out of here. We Shroud. don't need those bands. We don't need the bands at all, dude. We don't need the bands at all. All right, but okay, we're just following <laughs> suit. We're no, we just, we just, just really Mon hate Montaigne. That's all. Monty is Monty's a no. We can't we can't have Monty on the field. <laughs> uh, she has the FMG nine. That's that's really it. FMG nine's a decent Great. SMG. Uh, she also has a shotgun, and she has a Desert Eagle, and she also brought the Muzzle Break as well as the Suppressor to help out the Navy SEAL Ops, so they got that for the Deagle. But she has a uh, pretty cool utility. Pretty cool utility. Shroud's actually going to die to South Siege, of all people. Sal! <laughs> all right. <laughs> South Siege taking down Shroudy. He's gone. Macy getting ready to make a play here, trying to yeah, flash out Coconut, bro. What? Hello? Oh, oh! Uh, what? What happened? Macy! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even see him. Was hiding in the body, it looks like. <laughs> Ripping it up right now. A double kill on the round already for him. Take a quick little look at how he picked that up. Just had the wall pre-destructed, and there you go. An easy find against the hot breach from our attackers here. As the Russian Badger goes down without being able to use any of those fuse charges. We got all the Canadians inside of one room right now on the offense. Shrouded as well as Sasslin, both sitting inside of Reading. Shroud looking in towards Dining, takes down Cross. That's his first kill of the game. Second round, so pretty early on. Sal now takes down Shroud as he's not looking for the soft destruction. Sasslin with the refrag, that was godly will follow. Excuse me, the trade. Reattempts it once again, though, with 48 seconds left. They're trying to spam through, but I believe he's behind the bomb itself, so it's not going to work out. Sasslin finds a pick. Flank's going to move it, but what? Flanked! Can't even complete the kill. Macy J spins it back on its head. And we see the Rowdy Shroudies picking up their first round. Cross, we indeed love seeing it. Oh, no. I love how he's wearing the Chanka helmet. Dude, my immersion right now, all-time high. Oh! oh! He flipped the helmet. Oh, my God! Let's hear it. Oh, 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 please, please, just one. Take the duel. Just one. Do it. Do it. No. All right. No. <laughs> the turret falls again. From the capital. As Coconut Bro will drop and begins to plant. Shroud trying to take the duel with Cross. As Chai actually takes down Flanked. Cross though to take down Macy J. And all of a sudden we have an equal bout. One falls as, oh my God, Shroud on an equal trade here. Bring it back, and that's going to be the Rowdy Shroudies keeping their edge in this game now. But overall, an impressive round by the Rowdy Shroudies, and especially, you know, Shroud being able to stay alive this time. The other two times, not so much. This time, stays alive, actually does something. We're all excited about it. Shroud's got kills! Let's do it. That's to be sure. So the next round gets started here in just a second, folks. We're going to be heading over to Fireplace and Mining for the next one. Once again, I'm just still in awe by the little amount of bands that we have. See, that's a Valkyrie cosplay. That is, that's amazing. Unfortunately, not in a position to try and take them down through the floorboard. Shroud, oh. though, oh. swinging in on the Mozzie with the Ronnie. Oh, no. Goes in and takes out Godly, but Coconut, bro, right at the top of White Stairs is there for a trade a second later. It's all going to come down to Chai now in a 1v3. You know what I love about Shroud? He's just swinging and pre-firing. He's like, I think there's a guy here who's going. I don't, I don't care. We're going. But Cross, to end out the round, the Godly's Gold's bringing it back. Apparently the fake diamonds just top seeded at this tournament. Mm -hmm. Flank moving in, he's only got one pellet charge left, gonna try to breach it. Now we did see Macy trying to move, so he might move in and try to stop this one as well, but not gonna happen. A little bit too late to the party, unfortunately, but it's only a small hole. A nice pick from Cross, though. Starts them off strong. Shroud again, rolling around with the P10. He's able to trade him down, though, keep us in a 4v4. Well, fighting back now is Godly's Gold. Shroud was actually inside of Coat Closet with a quick shot on the buck, takes down Cross. Macy J gonna actually add on as we wore off cam for just a second. All of a sudden, this is in control of the Rowdy Shroudies. 
Towns yet another one's gonna be Russian Badger running the Express, baby. The M870, such a powerful shotgun. Is he's oh. actually gonna get pinched? Russian Badger. Ratty Shratty's bringing it back. Not necessarily a whole lot of time left for them to, to be able to turn it back on their heels here. Cross, working his way back upstairs, is now going to be able to find Chai as well. It's just on Shroud and the Russian wow, Badger. We'll a good start Badger. from the Russian Badger here. Shroud, but the potential for him to impact as well over there. On the Cross, oh. but no, Cross. Mind games him, outworks him, works his way in. I won't fit. <laughs> Trying to find his way inside of the washroom, apparently. Or oh, no. And Cross with the skeleton key. That's going to be a quad for him on the round. Impressive overall is of the minibar area of Christmas. He's somebody in pixel, though, as he almost gets yokai Quickly fires, almost takes off Flank's head, but instead takes off Chai's with a quick flick back. Actually going to remove somebody on new drop. I believe that was going to be the buck that fell. Yes, it's going to be Cross. Flank to try and pick it up. But, oh, my gosh, Macy with a triple kill as Rowdy Shroudies tie things up. All right, Macy's team bringing us back into it now at five to five. We're gonna be tied up. So into an overtime we go. Infinite overtimes. So there's only two times during the year that we use that format. Shroud with a good start here as well against Coconut Bro, finding him just outside the window there. And yeah, it's only here at the Major, which we play in the summer, and an Invitational, which is right in the middle of winter that we end up using that extended format for overtime that can go infinitely and a team must win by two rounds. It's going to be a really exciting affair. Plant now going down by the hands of South Siege. Quickly challenged, but Cross to take the kill. And all they need is one more round for the Godly's Golds to go off and face against the fake diamonds once again. Guns everywhere and they roll across the ground and have a timer as opposed to how long you hold it. We are going to have Badger fall off immediately though and now we're going to have Shroud on Blitz, which is... Uh, a pretty creative pick, to say the least. Having some fun, right? Yeah. It's all made push site. I don't know what your edge. I don't know what your uh, opinion on fun is. I don't find Blitz very oh, fun. See, I find fun right there. <laughs> Shroud finding a nice pick. The quick switch over to the ADS to catch flank there. Now going to bring us into the four v four training back the kill from earlier. Ready? Watch this. Ba ba ba. There you go. Shroud, a nice find from him. Shroud toxic confirmed. <laughs> Such a such a scary operator in the proper hands. I mean, you already have, you have a shield that can run and also has a stun on the front of it. Again, they, they fixed the timer on that, so uh, Blitz. A little bit more balanced, but in the hands of somebody with great aim like Shroud, always going to be something that's extremely difficult to deal with. I feel like yeah, Blitz is just the trap there. card of the Rowdy Shroudies. Once it gets into a dire situation, just immediately pull out the Blitz. Bust it out. Yeah, and start going to work. Smoke Grenade now goes down, and Shroud's trying to rotate up red. Just to find some pressure. Has to worry about Godly inside of A. And Godly definitely has enough ammo to try and handle Blitz as a little bit of his hitbox does stick out around the shield, so enough pre fire could possibly deal with the situation. Or of course, it's going to be kind of loud, though, so not really going to be too good for sneaking up on people in any of these situations here. You're going to hear that shield noise from quite a long ways away as long as you got your sound turned on here. Sasslin finds the next pickup here. We're gonna see Coconut Breath take quite a bit of damage from Chai as well. Shroud's just holding back the tide right now. This huge spray of bullets. He's taking a lot of heat from his side, but ultimately, the Rowdy Shroud, he's picking it up. Shroud completely blinds out our last player. He gets the second kill. And the Rowdy Shroudies bring it back. Tie us up. We're going to the final round, full time between these two teams. Well, I don't think we've had the play from Shroud that everyone's wanted yet, so it's still a possibility. We still might see him just click everyone's heads in some very, very weird fashion that somehow always happens when this man is on the field. So we still have an opportunity for that. Coconut Bra is going to swing cleanly into sight onto Heaven. Does have one to his left as well. I believe that that's Sasselin. Yes, it is. And they actually have some Echoes, as, uh, excuse me, a Yokai drone up top as well. As well as some of Sasselin's utility. Flank going to be rotating up, but he's got a Goomine in his foot. Shroud, quick! With a headshot on the flank, Cross Archon also challenging Macy J to back him up. All of a sudden, Shroudies, or Rowdy Shroudies in the lead on Man Kill. Oh. Recognizes out Sasselin, but is not able to find the kill. Sasselin's gonna take quite a bit of damage. Shroud with the back and forth movement! Show me your moves! This Coconut Bra falls off, and all of a sudden it's left up to Cross Archon. They look like they were going to have the rotation, but as soon as he gets into that goo mine, looks like an aggressive peek here. Macy's soon to find it, but no, the bolts aren't gonna connect. Shroud also chasing him down, getting shot by the evil eyes. So much damage done. Shroud could get aggressive. He's gonna get a call on the Yokai drone, stunning him. Has to challenge him out. All he has to do is hit him one time. Shroud dancing back and forth on the angle, though. 
Oh, Peek Cross, Cross just has okay. no luck <laughs> right now. He's got a Yokai <laughs> drone stun on him. The okay. evil eye, the lesion mine. There's nothing that's going to work. Shroud's going to shut it down. Him, the Russian Badger, gets up to celebrate as well. And they're going to take the second match of the day here and now move on to face off against the fake diamonds to decide the winner of our Creator Cup here at the Six Major Rally. All right, thank you so much. Guys, give it up for the Rowdy Shroudies. <laughs> All right. Uh, we talked earlier, you said slow start, slow start. What, what, what happened? What happened with the team early on? I mean, it wasn't the team. My team was doing great, but I had a slow start. I had one kill for like five rounds, and then I picked it up on defense. Nice, not bad. So. Uh, <laughs> You had some uh, interesting moments uh, in that game. Russian Badger just charging outside, not a care in the world. Uh, great moments uh, across the board. Uh, but what is it about this game? Because you have such great natural aim. I've seen you play so many different first-person shooters in the past. You have great natural aim. Uh, is that what you rely on? Like, you know, do you, do you also listen to, like, call-outs? Who's calling out on your team, et cetera? I mean, I haven't played this new cafe before, so I played it like one time, so I'm kind of confused. I don't know any of the angles. I'm just relying on my aim. People are at common stuff. I got no idea. I'm just trying to frag. Hey, man. That's literally been me all weekend long. Okay, just figuring it out as we go along. Ain't that right, North Carolina? So now you're going to be uh, going up against Roy's team, the fake diamonds. They looked really good in their match earlier. Uh, thoughts, thoughts on Roy. Do you think that you will be the victim of Cheeks being clapped? Um, I mean, they look pretty scary, so maybe, yeah, maybe. And anything you want to say, obviously, to the folks here as well? I mean, so many people so excited to see you here at a Rainbow Six Siege event. Uh, is there anything you want to say to the crowd? I mean, just thanks for supporting me. I know I'm kind of new to this Rainbow uh, Six scene a little bit, so I appreciate you guys. That's right, that's right. Shroud, always a pleasure, my friend. Good luck in your matchup. It's going to be happening in just a little bit. But for now, let's send it back over to the analyst desk to have some fun with the breakdown of that game. All right, guys, well, we're getting ready to jump into our final matchup of the Creator Cup. This will decide our winner as we have the fake diamonds going up against the Rowdy Shroudies. Both teams have won one game at the moment, so the winner of this one takes home all of the trophies and all of the glory for winning. Oh. Oh, oh. they don't want anything to do with that Shroud play from the last game. Yo, guys are watching the VOD. That's scary. Oh, no. They know everything they're going to do. They're Keeping inside of their heads. Tabs. Time. Oh, Russian Badger gonna take a lot of damage and get stabbed as apparently it's gonna be the rush. That would be definitely uh, translated by the fake and aggressive push by Microwave, but Shroud shuts him down. Skittles rotating up red as your boy Roy has control. Quick shot through the wall of Shroud and a double as Roy takes down Sasslin. And all that's left is Macy J with about 30 HP. A quick rotation and Skittles gathers up both of them. And the fake diamonds have the first round. Everything about her inside of her bio in game is redacted. You don't yeah, know anything yeah, yeah. about her. Just like how Macy redacted Microwave's life, and Roy, with some quick trades, takes down Zaslin and Chai. So, all of a sudden, the Rowdy Shroudy's down to three, as they will equalize. Priest falls, Varsity Gaming trying to battle back over into reading, but cannot find anything as he goes fishing with that ACOG. Some quick shots, he does see the nook of Macy J, but can't find much. Your boy Roy does go on a flank. That's going to be a triple kill for him. Possible ace if he's able to find the last two. And now we're down on to Skittles. The plant also going on to site here too. Skittles needs to make a move now. As the plant is going to go down, he'll try to stop it here, but he's too slow. Macy puts it onto the ground. He's going to be able to juke his way around Skittles. He'll also more than likely have the flank coming the other way. Macy's smart about this. Ditches out, heads back upstairs. He's going to start rolling down though. Skittles just committing to the counter to fuse this. But no, Macy catches it, takes him out. And that's the Rowdy Shroud. He's getting their first round onto the board. And can it automatically see. First kill comes out now. It's going to be Shroud starting us off here as he takes down Microwave, the man that we were just talking about playing the Warden. Shroud taking on the Thermite roll for this one as well. He's going to see a little bit of spam back coming in there from the train yard. So let's try to peek into it for a moment. We'll see oh, how that no. goes. Oh, no. Caught him on a run out as well. Microwave trying to get greedy and gets punished for his efforts there. Macy's trying to thread the needle, but he can't find too much. A Nitro Cell takes down Shroud. That's going to be the Thermite as Rowdy Shroud is soon to be falling off. 
Now Sasslin putting a plant onto the ground, I think closer towards the freezer side. Oh, but no, Varsity going to be able to wash right out of the freezer. Be able to deny Sasslin and whip your boy Roy's pickup against Macy J. It's another round for the fake diamonds. They will push ahead at three to one overall here. There's three more rounds to go. They're halfway there. Be able to pick up the opening frag of this one. Skittles going to be able to move in though, pick up the frag and trade more importantly on to Macy. Bring us down to just Shroud and I believe the Russian Badger. That's still all that left here at this point for the Rowdy Shroud. Shroud himself is going to be able to move in and find your boy Roy, so that takes him down. Slowly tilting this back into his team's favor. Skittles next to strike though, knocks out Shroud, so it's all on the Russian Badger. One versus three, and even worse, he doesn't have a whole lot of time left here. And he's playing with the M590 shotgun commando mode here. The, the crowd's with him. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Runs out, is able to dodge behind it, but no, not enough range on that fight. Priest is going to take him out. The crowd support spurred him forward, but unfortunately spurred him right into his death right there. As he's going to get taken out by Priest here to be able to easily pick up some kills. Sasslin now getting stunned dumb. We'll have to see if they can possibly get her out of Cigar Priest. is going to rotate around, but Shroud's going to start things off. Sasslin actually going to get the kill. Gets immediately traded out by Varsity Gaming. So Varsity does rotate and he takes down Shy inside of Christmas. So trying to bring this back right now. We do still have Macy alive, and he probably still has that turret. So be looking out for that as well. 45 seconds remain, and Macy gets the there first kill. He's going for the second, but Priest cuts him down. Macy to falter, but Shroud and the Russian Badger still alive for the Rowdy Shroudies. They're trying to find their second round. It's going to be rotation from Badger here. Priest is looking for it. Quick shots. It's a 1v1 up against Shroud. Priest on the controller up against one of the most skilled players with an MNK. Can he win out this gunfight? This will be something truly crazy. This is the final battle of yeah, mouse and keyboard this versus is controller right here. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Priest trying to take it to the house right now, trying to prove them all wrong. Shroud's going to take a little bit of damage. This is for all the console players at home right now. You can tell all your PC friends to shut their mouth. He can possibly win out this gunfight. It's going to be a quick rotation. He had the skeleton key pressuring through. Doesn't have time in. No! Oh, so close. He had the angle and everything. Just couldn't control the spray at the end of the day. So Shroud picks it up. What? What are you guys making with these things? <laughs> Backwards, which is always a good time, especially when casting. Priest, though, now downstairs, as they're leaning more on that information game this time around. A quick flick as Shroud actually is going to be the one to win it out. Roy gets taken down. Shroud a little bit too accurate for his liking. Skittles, he flows, but no, Priest is going to be next to fall. The Russian Badger finds a second pickup against Microwave, and Skittles falls right after that. The Rowdy Shroudies get their first round of the half, and it's in flawless fashion as well. Great pickups from them. So that time will continue to draw down here, and either team want to take a huge risk, but it's Shroud that strikes first. However, he's going to immediately be under pressure from Skittles, who catches the trade just a second later, bringing us down into another even situation. Oh, nice shot by Shroud, reading out the move by Roy, and Sasslin going to continue to tack on for Rowdy Shroud. He says Microwave will fall. Priest going it. to take a duel, and he actually ends up downing one. That's going to be Chai that's been down at the back of Kitchen. So, again, been having a fantastic game so far, but Priest has definitely been holding his own. That's going to be a double kill from the round. Varsity going to rotate in. He's the man with the fuser, and they're going to be getting that diffuser down in the little horseshoe area of the front kitchen. Skittles saw ahead, but ended up hitting him right in the neck. That's not a headshot. You got to earn it. There you go. Badger goes down. Skittles with two as Macy J will soon fall, and the fake diamonds continue on their reign. Closer towards those white stairs, I believe. Now they can push in, start to pincer out the angle onto the cocktail land. But unfortunately, with only 13 seconds left, this is going to be troublesome for them. The fake diamonds trying to win out this 2v3. Varsity Gaming actually gets one and two. One for McClaymore, one to go, and they get it done. One final pickup from them. And we are going to see the fake diamonds pick up the round. And I believe with that, it'll be the map as well. Congratulations indeed to our fake diamonds. They're going to be able to take it six to three and they will be our Creator Cup champions as the crowd continues to do very strange things with the Thunder Sticks. Well, they might be Cubic Zirconias, but they're definitely champions here today. So with that, they only dropped four rounds throughout this entire tournament. Truly something insane. Four rounds. And they're celebrating there, as you can see, getting the vlog done in the process. Priorities matter here, folks, for our fake diamonds as they're going to be able to take control of the cup.